Hello, it is me, JP. Welcome to another exciting episode of Spice Brew. Haven't done this for a while. This is Night Rider. What we're going to do is Mike Lane mods. Yes, we're going to do the Dashboard Monitors and Power Boost mod. And we're going to do the Metal Grills for the Dashboard mod. Now, I've done this already. Yeah, I had to change the batteries for this, so it's going to be back to front and all sorts of things. However, I hope you're going to enjoy this video and get some freedom about it. Too close to the camera! Let's get modding. Here's the packaging. you got here the Augustine's Kit Knight Rider, my claim. The uh, grills itself, so scissors. These are quite easy to install. So, if you wish, you can go to Mike Lane's instructions, instructions, which are online, which are in the description below. So, basically, we got some hamster cars. Here we are. We have some hamster cars. And what we do here. Yes, basically, you know, you can use the stickers, you can use glue. These are metal, by the way, so that will be just going in there. I think I need to flatten that, so that be looking like that, can't you see? And these you cut, cut here, cut there for these pieces so yeah, those pieces will go here and here and they will just go one goes like that I mean you could use glue if you wish no stopping you then we get this one see the details of course you can't see the details the light's not on really there that's better so there you go, there's the details, like that. So what we do, snip that off, and then put one, if it'll let me, right, there you go. So one will go in on here, like that. Ah, very sticky by the way, very sticky like that and then we peel that bit off come on peel off there you go there's one just shows you how sticky that is and then one here get that done that can go in here looking like that and then that should just fit in there nicely Now I get this one. There you go. That one goes like that. And then that should go nicely in there. So looking like that. And do the same with this one. Get that done and show you what it's like. Looking like that. And now for a comparison, here it is with out it. You're wondering why I have two. Well, I bought another one when I was doing my self mods with this one, just in case I messed up. Anyway, so that's the grills done. Now, oops, for the dashboard. So here's the packaging, two in one. The back, the excitement is building, Mike Lane. There's the side. There's the thing. There's a QR code. There you go, scan, free scan on me. There you go, you're welcome. And then we get this lovely packaging. What's in the box? I'll tell you what's in the box once I get it open. 
Ah, that's how you get it open. So what we have here is some cleaners, uh, a wire, an extension lead. Now this goes with Model Mods mod. And if you haven't got this, and if you go for the deluxe uh, package, you do get one here as well. And there's the monitors. There's TV screens, anything else? No, nope, we don't need that anymore. So we need some prep work. So what we need to do is, screwdriver please, is take the screen out. So what we have to do is take this bit off here. Don't need that bit. That comes off. And then we need to take this bit off. If it'll come off. Yep, that comes off. And then we take the screens off. Bit of prep work here. There you go. And we'll take the screens out them to the side because you won't need these and then we got what's left so what we need to do first is take the screens out and they will be going in there so what we need to do is take we actually got nice little screens here so we take the uh, backing off backing and then this should go is it directional it must be directional that way there you go so with the straight end I'll go there and I'll just nicely go in there oops don't press on here because it's got screen, now it's got fingerprints in there, but we got a cloth. I'll give that a good clean. So that's looking like that, excellent. Now what we need to do is get this piece, and then we need to put that back in where it was. Here you go, it's directional, so Okay, that goes in nicely. Nice fit. Well done, Mike. So that's looking like that. Um, again, if I had the LEDs already done, you need to put one in there, one in there, screwdriver, strain to Rinui, and one in there. But I haven't got that on my spare one yet, so that doesn't matter. Right, now we're gonna connect the cables. This one, you got this one, this one, and this one. Right, then we get the single black piece, and that'll be going in the GO. That'll be going in there, like that. And then we get the long black and gray piece, cable. And that will be going in the one next to it. Like that, so that's looking like that. Right, now we're gonna go, if you didn't have um, the power option one, if you would like to power the entire kit model via USB-C recommended, which is this. Remove any existing power source, power mods and batteries and continue to connect the angle 
end of the supply used for the C port on the side of the screen. So this, now this is if you don't have a mod for model mods, you can pile it out from there. So this will go in the side here. So that'll be going in like that. And this, what I need to do is get Net Rider itself, don't we? And then what we'll do is it's got actually got Mike Lane's name on it as well. And then we're going to install this in its home, which will be here. Now they are locating lugs, so you can put them in its rightful places. You can't see that. So we go in in like that, I believe. Go into your home. Go into your home. You know what, maybe the screws will help it. So then you get the screws that you took out already. I do ha actually have up to a hundred and something of this issue, but I've been waiting for mods, so I haven't really been doing it. Shame on you, shame on you. This lovely, lovely piece of work here. What I need to do is catch up videos. So that'd be like that. So then I can. So that'd be looking like that. Now here's the best part. So when it does go in, this will feed if you need a power. This would actually feed down here. So that'll go down like that. This will go through the engine and these will trail underneath here. So what we need to do is, what's next? Yeah, again, I don't have everything. So um, yeah, so it can go through the engine. I suppose you can put it anywhere really. Through the engine and it'll come out. Oops. Here somewhere. Uh, you know what, I'll try and show you. Probably knock, knock a few pipes out at the same time, but hey. Let's live dangerously. So what it can do is go through here, I suppose. There you go. Put that up there for a minute. And go like that for a minute there you go and you can put it anywhere you want I suppose because that'll roughly go about there yeah so there you go that'll be sitting like this like that and then what you need to do is filter these down so what I need to do is take this model bit out, never pull on the wire, so model mods, it's not on model mods anymore, okay, that's good, so now that's looking like that. Yeah, again the instructions, if you don't have model mods, is to put it, oh, very fiddly through here I'll try and put it through there and then it'll jam in there but I'm not going to do that so there you go you know it's yours you can display it put it anywhere you want to be honest try not to break all them right now we need to do is disconnect 
the LED cable from socket H, which I've, it's not there anyway. They're not needed. So that's part 44. And disconnect cable L. I don't know if I've got that in there already. No, I haven't got cable L either, so that's fine. Um, from the main circuit board, I move it to socket H. Well, I haven't got that anyway, so that's fine. You're asking me, where is it? Where is it? Well, it's on this one. Anyway, let's continue. Now connect the long single black cable, long single black cable to L. So that'll be going under L, leg two. So it says here, switching the cables as detailed above may sound unusual, but this is important step for the dashboard monitors to perform correctly. So remember, correctly. So uh, cable connections for the USB. To ensure the model via the USB-C cable, disconnect the battery connector cable or any other alternate power source from the five inch socket and replace with the long black cable. So this one will be going into C. There you go, that will go into C. Can you see that anyway? Probably not. So that will be going into C. Leg sit. There we go. Right, now if you're powering by original AA batteries and turbo power source, you can now switch on the power model. If you're powering via the USB-C, the USB-C, you now connect your power adapter to the bank to the USB-C port beneath the model. You're now ready to activate kit. So let's, are you are we ready to try this? That's a bit short. Hmm. Hopefully I've got an extension for that. Go this extension. Right, let's try it, shall we? If the batteries still work. Okay, it doesn't want to work. Because all I'm doing is pressing this and it wants to um, just change the time. Mm, oh no, what to do, what to do? Well, let me try and figure this one out. And I'll get back right to you. Okay, I do apologize. I don't know. I think I need a stronger battery because that's not working. Excellent. Anyway, if you've got a mod like this one, this one goes to the board. However, what we have to do this differently is take this one out, leave the black one in. Um, then we get this one, which will go in here, which will now go into C. Then that will go into one of these. And then the one that says to the board will go into here. Of course, it might help if you put it in the right one. So now we've got a splitter. That's kind of cool. And then we get that power mod. Now I've got to try and find that one. And I'm back. Okay, I've changed the batteries. So now, uh, where did we left off? We left off with... Uh, oh yes, if you had a third party power or your battery. So that's how that's done. So then we go like this. Push it on. No, it's, this is not the time. And then, hopefully you can see that. There you go. Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh, so gorgeous. So I'll let it run through its little cycle. 
see what it does. I think we should have some music here. Oops, so focus camera. Focus. There you go. Oh, we got a little game as well. Cool. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, right. Now, if... That is with the mod, and now we'll try to turn that off. So that was the problem, the batteries. And then we'll try it next. So take this piece off. And then... This time, what do we do? Yep, take this piece off. So take this piece off. So I'm going to take that out. It will let me. And then we'll put this power mod in here this time. Make sure it's the right way. Oops. So now that's in. And then we'll put uh, this one. Oops. Oh, that's come off, no mind. So we'll put this. This is the one that comes with Mike Lane's mod. So we'll put that in here. wants to go in of course now it's fighting me that one will go in there now I did have my extension for it so here's my extension put the extension in plug it in this piece in Voila. And then we do the cycle all over again. Hope you can see that. OK, 
can't get it close this time oh maybe I can there you go and that is with the power uh, so if you don't have a third party or model mods power mod you can have the adapter for this one to go through the front and that works just as well excellent So that is my claims for power and grill mods. Hope you liked this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Wait, where's the puppet? Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I do have the next mod coming up. Very similar to this one. So, see you in the next one. Let's get modding. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget... Oh, I have to do other things. Oh, this is all back to front. Anyway, if you'd like to get this for yourself, down in the description below, I've put where to get it. Now I can go, let's get modding. Two clicks the camera. Oh, the buzzing of that watch is really annoying. Can you hear it? Or is it just me? Anyway, see you in the next one.